Are you about to start an upholstery or a slipcover project and you need to buy some fabric? Today we're going to talk about where I buy my fabrics, some of the usual suspects, some unusual places that I source fabric, and everything in between. So let's get started. Typical fabric places would be Joanne Fabrics. I do buy quite a bit of fabric there. Generally I only buy fabric at Joanne's that is from the clearance section in the back of the store. Joanne's has really diminished their fabric supply for home decor fabric. Their apparel fabric is still pretty plentiful, but for home decor fabric, which is 54 inches wide generally, and typically home decor fabric is a thicker, heavier weight fabric. Joanne Fabrics, I, I generally go right back to the clearance section and I'll pick through that. Gorgeous blue velvet and it's $7 a yard. The problem is, is they typically don't have large amounts of fabric back there. So I did buy 21 yards of my slipcover fabric that I did for this sofa here. And I managed to find that in three separate cut. They don't have the special order fabrics anymore. They used to have those fabrics that hung in the back on hangers and you could special order, but they don't even have that in the store anymore. Then there's Hobby Lobby. You can get fabric there. Again, they have a very small selection of home decor fabric. Generally, everything is online, which makes it difficult because you can't touch and feel it which I can't, I don't like that. We used to have a fabric store in town. It was a closeout fabric store dead stock that was called Boca Bargoons. They're based in Atlanta. And actually on my next video, I'm going to be using a fabric from them that they sponsored. So check out that next video. It's an upholstery video. Anyway, Boca Bargoons is a good choice. Their online fabric store is not called Boca Bargoons. It's called Fabric Five and Dime. And their prices are really, really excellent, but it is dead stock. So you're not gonna get the latest design or fabrics there. They have a lot of nice stuff. There's some good neutrals on Fabric 5 and Dime, but it's limited quantities again. So you've got to have an open mind when you're shopping there. Another one of my go-tos is BigDuckCanvas.com. Not as much anymore because their fabrics are all canvas and they're all just solid fabrics, which is an excellent place to start if you're a beginner because you don't want to spend a ton of money and then potentially waste, you know, if you don't finish the project or it doesn't come out as great as you had hoped, which if you're a beginner is probably gonna be the case. Speaking of beginner, another great place to start, particularly for slip covers, if not generally upholstery, but if you're gonna do a slip cover and you've never made a slip cover before, a really great place to start would be painter's drop cloth. It's just plain, it's not the greatest fabric, but it's so cheap that it makes it really Really, really a great place to start if you've never made a slipcover before. You can order it on Amazon or you can get it at Home Depot, get the largest size. I will put links in the description box below for everything I'm talking about here. A couple more are decoratorsbest.com. They have a good selection of designer fabrics on decoratorsbest.com. They've got a good selection there. Prices are decent. Revolution Performance Fabrics. I used that for my sofa slip covers. I've used Revolution Fabrics quite a bit. I used them for reupholstering my mother-in-law's couch. Here I use Revolution for a whole ton of cushions. They have a performance slip cover fabric which is washable. However, I did use on my slip covers um, a not washable performance fabric and I have washed it in the washing machine. You don't can't dry it for sure, but it works. Anyway, Revolution is a really great source for performance fabric at a really great price. Fantastic for upholstery. Good selection too, as far as performance fabrics goes and so easy to clean. In between washes on my slip covers, I just wet it down real good with water and a little bit of Folex and they come so clean. Decorative Fabrics Direct. They have a good selection and designer fabrics if you're looking for something specific. If you want a linen fabric, the fabric-store.com is excellent. I made these chair slip covers just recently with some of their linen and I love it. I've made tablecloths 
floor length full to the ground tablecloths with their linen it's beautiful if you're looking be, by the way i'm gonna i'm making a new tablecloth for my dining room table very soon and i'm gonna put a big wide bullion fringe along the bottom so if you're looking for trim decorators best has a great trim department as well as decorative fabrics direct they have a great trim department as well these are all the places that you don't need to have a business license and a resale certificate for this is open to the public. Then the last places that I want to talk about are your local upholstery supplier. So there's two in my area that are open to the public. You don't have to have a business license to shop at these two local upholstery suppliers. And there's bound to be upholstery suppliers in your town, at least one. Both of the ones that I'm talking about that are open to the public do sell fabric and you can order through them. They've got memos and fabric samples that you can search through and order direct from them and generally they have some dead stock in the store as well that you can just buy off the shelf basically. Look in Google for your local up upholstery supply shops and call them up and see if they're open to the public if you need to have a business license or a resale certificate or not and if you can order fabric through them. Most of them are happy to sell you fabric because they make a percentage on that and still the prices are typically better than if you bought retail online. And you can see the fabric in person and touch and feel it. We're here at my cutting table and it's just packed with stuff because I haven't put away Christmas yet and it ends up all accumulating here. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've gotten that, that's just sourced from odd places that you wouldn't generally think about buying fabric. And one of those places is Ikea. Now they do have a fabric department, but it's a really small, small selection and not typically my style. However, I have bought some plain hemp fabric from Ikea that was pretty good that I made some things with and I liked that, but that was years ago. Anyway, I was at Ikea recently and I came across these duvet covers that were on clearance. This duvet cover was clearanced down to $19 and it's a queen size duvet and it happens to be the same fabric on the outside as on the inside. And it came with two shams. Both sides of this duvet are the same fabric. So the inside and the outside for 20 bucks. So this is just a ton ton of fabric for $20 and it's a really nice fabric. It's not super thick, but it's thick enough to make a slip cover with. So I bought two packages to make two slip covers and I think I'm gonna use this to make slip covers for the pair of armchairs that I have out on my back patio. So just be open-minded when you're looking at things. When I came across this, I was like, oh, I just love that plaid pattern on this fabric. For $20, that, that's a heck of a deal for all this fabric. Oh, I also so at one time I was in the as is section at Ikea and I found a set of curtains and they were the velvet curtains and I made a slip cover for a chaise lounge with two velvet curtains that I got for like 20 bucks at Ikea in the as is section. So that was a heck of a deal and it was a really, really pretty blue velvet fabric. Great for a slip cover. Then another place to definitely keep an eye out is at your local thrift store. I always shop through the hanging uh, area of sheets and blankets and towels in that section because there's always always good good stuff whenever I see a nice really good quality cotton sheet at the thrift store I always pick those up because I use that for lining in Roman shades lining of curtains I'll use it for the inside lining on duvet covers this is something that I got this is a beautiful 100% cotton and you can just feel the quality of this fabric. And I'm gonna use this to make some more. It's got this small, just precious little floral pattern here that I'm gonna use to make some fabric covered lampshades like I did in the lampshade video. So I just love that. This as well, I'm gonna use, this is just a sweet little blue and white print and I'm gonna use it for lampshades also. And this one which is just a little bit different but I thought it would be a cute lampshade or potentially some pillowcases and then this is fabric that I cut 
Anyway, this is another one that I thought was super pretty. This is actually a tablecloth, and I love that. That looks so much like those beautiful tablecloths that you're seeing from that pomegranate co. The, the you know. Anyway, I just thought that was so pretty, and this would work as a lampshade as well, or I may just keep it for a tablecloth, but you know, this was like $3. Each sheet is like $2.99, $3.99. You can't beat that price. And then look at this. This, I think, I can't remember who did this fabric. This is a vintage fabric, but I'm pretty sure this is a designer fabric. And I got two round tablecloths in this fabric. And I just love it. I love it. It's swags and jabots is what this pattern is. And it's just so pretty. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it if I'm actually going to just use it as a tablecloth or if I will make it into something else. I don't know, but it'll be in my stash for the time being. And look, this was $3.95. It's a huge t round tablecloth and I got two of them for $7. Thrift stores are a fantastic place to buy fabric. You just can't beat it. The last place I, I would look is on Facebook Marketplace. It's a little bit harder because people don't uh, generally list fabric on there, but if you're someone who scours Facebook Marketplace like I do, you can find some fabric there. And I have seen other people find amazing vintage fabric in the form of draperies. One gal that I follow on Instagram found absolutely the most beautiful draperies out of I can't remember the designer of the fabric, but it's a fabric that's just spectacular vintage floral fabric. If you're gonna look on Facebook Marketplace or if you're already on Facebook Marketplace looking frequently for things, if you type in fabric or material or curtains or draperies, matte lisse is a good fabric to buy for slip covers. It's beautiful and it makes great slip covers. So if you can find coverlets, bed coverlets out of matte lisse, it's great. That's another good one to look for. Look at for linen. So depending Depending upon what you're making, you can find fabric all over the place. If you're just making small things like decorative pillows or if you're wanting to make uh, decorative napkins like this. This is this was a sheet that I found at a thrift store and it's just the most beautiful vintage cotton fabric. There's just something different about vintage cotton. It's just such a beautiful texture and smooth anyway. If you're needing lots of yards of fabric for upholstering a sofa or slip covering a sofa, clearly you're gonna have to just go to a retailer or your upholstery supply shop in your town and get your 20 yards or whatever you're gonna need for a big project. But for smaller projects, there's so much good good fabric out there that can be made into other things. I mean, I've even seen people make garments out of thrift store. Oh, that's another thing is that you can utilize um, clothing. Like I have bought linen dresses that are big dresses that are beautiful linen fabric and I've cut those down into napkins or pillows. If you are interested in seeing that upholstery project with the fabric that I got from Fabric 5 and Dime, which is the Boca Bargoons company, click on that video right here.